This is a Crotellus Atrox, Western Diamondback Rattlesnake. I'm going to approach him and see exactly how close I can get before he reacts defensively. I end up getting within three feet. As you can see, I'm within three feet now, and no main reaction. You can see his tongue sticking in and out, which is both a way to get a sense of me. Rattlesnakes do not have taste buds. They use the tongue to collect air particles for the Jacobson organ, which is connected to the sense of smell. But it's also a defense measure as well, kind of a show of force. When they're slightly agitated, they'll take their tongues and flick them all the way up and all the way down. But other than that, he would be content just to let me pass by if I would go on my way. It's not until I get almost all the way behind him before he reacts any other way. You can see his head's turned to see what I'm doing. But still, no rattling and no other defense posture such as the crooked neck and raised up head. It's apparent that I'm not going anywhere, so the snake decides that it wants to retreat, which is generally the reaction of most rattlesnakes. I say generally because, like all creatures including humans, snakes have individual personalities, and we all know someone that's kind of ornery. But 99% of the time, unless the snake's startled, this will be what will happen. Still no rattling. Just going into the grass to hide. Once he's in the grass, he'll crane around to see if I'm following. On the left hand side of the screen, you'll see his head poke back out of the grass to see what I'm doing. Here in the moment, I'm going to revert back to the video sound. It's got a lot of wind, but you'll actually hear when he starts rapping. See, there's the defensive posture. But notice, it's like the defensive sound. And the curled neck. Still content to stay away. This is how most rattlesnake encounters should end, with both the human and the rattlesnake being unharmed. Anyway, thanks for watching my video.